Good evening and welcome. Today we have come together in the presence of family and friends because Edward and Meyer have discovered the most beautiful things in their world, each other. They have discovered that place in their hearts called home. For this reason we are gathered here today to celebrate one of life's greatest moments. To give recognition to the worth and beauty of love and cherish the world that shall unite Edward and Meyer in marriage. Let us pray. O gracious and ever-living God, we ask you to look mercifully upon this man and this woman who come to you seeking your blessing and your grace. With true fidelity and steadfast love, may they honor and keep the promises and vows they make here today. May your blessing be on this wedding, and may you protect and guide Edward and Myra as they start their new life together. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Someone once said that without love, we merely exist. But with love, we truly begin to live. We learn in the book of Genesis that people are not made to live alone. One of our most basic needs in life is to be loved by another. And in 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verses 1 through 8, And now I will show you the most excellent way. If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but have not loved, then I am only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have the gift of prophecy, and can fathom all mystery and all knowledge. And if I have a faith that can move mountains, but have not love, then I am nothing. If I give all my possessions to the poor, and surrender my body to the flames, but have not love, then I have gained nothing. Because love is patient and kind. Love is not envy nor boast. Love is not proud. It is not rude. Love is not self-seeking, and is not easily angered, and keeps no records of wrong. Love does not delight with evil, but rejoices with the truth. Love always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres, because love never fails. And in chapter 13, verse 13, we discover that out of the three gifts of faith, hope, and love, the greatest of all is love. Everybody, my heart, please turn and face each other, take each other's hands as you state your winning message. As you hold hands together now, so your lives and spirit are joined in the union of love and trust. I remind you that marriage is a precious gift, a lifelong dedication to love, and a daily challenge to love one another more fully and more freely. And with this understanding, do you ever take my to be your wedded wife? Do you promise to be a kind, strong, and faithful husband? Do you promise to love and cherish her? The sickness and in health, for richer, for poorer, for better, for worse, keeping yourself solely unto her. I do. And with this understanding, do you admire take ever to be your wedded husband? Do you promise to be a tender and faithful wife? Do you promise to love and cherish him? In sickness and in health, for richer, for poorer, for better, for worse, keeping yourself solely unto him. May we have the rings, please? From earliest times, rings have been a symbol of wedding love. The wedding ring is a symbol of unity, a circle unbroken without a beginning or an end. Today, Edward and Meyer, you will give and receive these rings as a demonstration of your vows to each other to make your lives one. And let these rings also be symbols of all the promises and vows you make here today. Edward, please place the ring on Meyer's finger and repeat after me, please. This ring. This ring symbolizes my desire. Symbolizes my desire that you be my wife. That you be my wife from this day forward. From this day forward, I promise to love. I promise to love, cherish, cherish, and remain true to you. And remain true to you for the rest of my life. For the rest of my life. Myra, please place the ring on Edward's finger. Repeat after me. This ring, this ring symbolizes my desire, symbolizes my desire that you be my husband, be my husband from this day forward. I promise to love, I promise to love cherish, cherish, and remain true to you remain for the rest of my life. Let us pray. That's what God has joined together that no one put asunder. Heavenly Father, we ask that you bless Aaron and Myra 
as they walk forward into this life as husband and wife. Guide them as they start a new family and give them the strength to overcome obstacles and always see the good in their lives. Bless the vows and rings they have exchanged here today, for it is their promise to always be true and honest with one another. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. It is said that each family has a distinct story, a journey that is entirely unique to them. This begins your first chapter in that story as husband and wife. It begins today. You have chosen each other above all others and affirm your love in front of family and friends. And now have a witness your vows of marriage with those who assembled here and by the power invested in me by the state of Georgia. I now pronounce your husband and wife. Edward and Mara, you may now sow your promises and vows with a kiss. <laughs> Walk to the guys with the camera. All rise, please. <laughs> it's now my honor to present to you for the first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Edward and Myra Fowler. I get everyone to exit around to the right hand side of the house and to the back of the cocktail store everybody touch the Thank you very much. Okay.